Welcome to the second module that is differential equation of higher order introduction. So linear differential equation of the second and higher order with the constant coefficients. So the differential equation will be of the form dn y by dx power n plus a1 dn minus 1 y divided by dx power n minus 1 plus etc dy by dx into a n y is equal to phi of x where a1 a2 etc are all constants is called a linear differential equation of nth order with constant coefficients using the familiar notation of different operate differential operators t is d by dx d square is d square by dx square and so on the differential equation can be put in the form dn plus a1 d power n minus 1 plus etc of y is equal to phi of x that is f of d into y is phi of x let's call this as equation number 1 if phi of x is 0 the equation is homogeneous if it is not equal to 0 it is non-homogeneous now to find the method uh, of finding the complementary function let us consider a second order homogeneous differential equation put in the form f of d of y is equal to 0 where f of d is d square plus a1 d plus a2. We form the auxiliary equation f of m is 0 and solve the same to obtain the roots m1 and m2 which can be in the following three forms real and distinct, real and coincident and complex pair. So let us see each case. Case 1 when it is real and distinct, we will have the solution yc is equal to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x. Also, if there are n real mutually distinct roots of nth order equation, then yc will be c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus c3 e power m3x and so on we get it. Case 2. If it is a real and repeated root or a coincident root. Then yc will be c1 plus c2x into e power mx. If there are n equal distinct, I mean n equal roots, then we will have the solution as c1 plus c2x plus c3x square plus etc e power mx. Case 3, if one m2, m1 and m2 are the pair of roots, say complex pair of roots p plus iq, then yc will be e power px into c1 cos qx plus c2 sin qx. Also, if p plus or minus iq and p plus or minus iq are repeated complex roots then we have the solution in this form. Let us see the problems now. d cube y by dx cube minus 2 d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx minus 8y is equal to 0. We have d cube minus 2 d square plus 4 d minus 8 of y is equal to 0. That is the auxiliary form is written in form of M. Now after the factorization we get M is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. Thus the general solution will be y is equal to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power cos 2x plus c3 e power sin 2x. That is the general solution. Next question d cube y by dx square d cube y by d, y dx cube plus 6 d square y by dx square plus 11 dy by dx plus 6y is equal to 0. Now this cannot be factorized. By inspection method we will take for m and we will get the roots as 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 by inspection and minus 1 will be one of the root. Let us apply the synthetic division then it reduces to the quadratic equation of the form m square plus 5m plus 6 and later we will find the roots of this as minus 2 and minus 3. Therefore, the roots are minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. These are the roots of this equation and they are real and distinct. Therefore, the general solution is c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x. This is the general solution. Thank you.